What's up guys? In this video, we're going to go over a new Airtable update, which I'm super excited about. It looks like they're looking to kind of merge things with what Notion does. So they have a new overviews board, which is pretty cool. It helps simplify the boards inside of interfaces in Airtable. And we're going to go exactly how to set these up and exactly how to use them. So this is one that I just set up in under five minutes and connected it to the other boards. So inside of our business OS, we have specific tasks for our team members. So this ties directly to their current user and projects and goals, boom, all of that stuff. And SOPs, like I could go straight to, boom. Let's go to Tom here. Sweet, here's his daily winning formula. Uh, things to do each day. And as soon as we onboard a new team member, then they have that exactly here. And one thing that we just introduced is a trainings board, which is pretty cool. So I can use the Airtable Web Clipper and send over my team new trainings that they'll see in here. So with this overview, you can just simply map out kind of the high level overview of each section inside of interfaces. So what I can do here is this is for your boards, peruse your boards. What do I do here in tasks? Add, organize, delegate your tasks. And I can click there, boom, and go directly into here, into the tasks board, which is pretty freaking cool. So how do we set these up? Let's get into it. I wanna to go to the upper left and hit edit. And what I might wanna do is go down to the content board here and add in a content overview. So we hit the plus button, boom, right here. And then we go down to overview and you'll see this is new, boom. And I can click that and hit finish. So this will be an overviews board for the content. And we have content creation around written content, around YouTube content, email workshops, short form content, uh, content from testimonials. The system's freaking great. Um, so what I can do is go in here and change the data like this. So let me do right, boom, content overview. And what's really cool about this type is that it will change the name right there um, it automatically. In the other views, you don't have that availability. So this is pretty cool. And then I can go in here and add a cover image, boom. And let me go to here and just type in black, which I've saved from, oh, from Google. Sweet. So we can put that in and then I can add a logo. So I can go in here, go to recents, boom. And let's see what logo I want to put in here. Maybe one from yesterday. Now this one, boom, cool. And then what I can easily do is just say, peruse the content boards down below, maybe give it a little bit better of a description there and use chat GPT for that. And then inside of here, I can connect it to the different locations. So maybe here, I wanna also add a bookmarks, boom, down here, and this will be check posted content. So this is pretty cool. I'm going to add the bookmark here and let's do posted content. And then I could also add in posted YouTube videos. Boom. And then I can go into another one posted emails, sent emails, emails, boom. And then I can categorize this by content creation and posted. So we also have, let's do posted shorts. Boom. Oh, let's go back in here <clears throat> and do click here and add in shorts. Cool. And then in here, this is content creation. So we want that, we want that, YouTube, let's add in just these, boom. That's our Kanban view and getting slippery fingers here, but let's add in YouTube, boom, and email, perfect. 
and let's see, short form, short form, and let's remove these. So I can hit the three dots, remove that, and then I can hit the three dots here, and boom, remove that. And let's see, one more, let's go for workshops. Actually, I like the structure of this, so we're going to go with that. Um, so now I can add descriptions to it. But here, if I want to go directly to my content, boom, I can click that and it'll go directly there. Or if I want to go directly to the short form content, boom, it'll go directly there. See what we have ready. Perfect. And inside of here, we also have a sidebar um, with the about section. So what I could do here is connect it to SOPs. Um, SOP uh, content. SOPs, boom, and use this layout, welcome, find the content SOPs below. And I'll probably optimize these descriptions, but we're just getting version one in here. So if we want to add the first link, then I can go inside of here. Let me pause for a second. So then I can just go here and grab the all SOPs from the SOPs section, and then go in here and add this link right there. Boom, perfect. And call this content, uh, written content, SOPs, boom. And then I could add in the YouTube and short form. So let's just put the names, boom, YouTube, SOPs, um, and then email SOPs. SOPs, boom. Other resources, other uh, other resources, we'll just call it this. Resources, find our uh, uh, course content here, boom. And then what I could also do is go into our course, <clears throat> go into classroom, boom. Grab the content course, boom, and put that in there. Perfect. So written content course, written content course. And this is going to be sweet once we open this up. And then I can also go in here and go to, let's see, uh, YouTube, boom. Perfect. Let's go back in here. <clears throat> looks, let's see what this beautiful thing looks like. Boom. YouTube course. Boom. Publish. Sweet. Okay. This is looking good. So then they can go straight to these boards, go straight to these boards to see that, go straight to the written content SOPs. So onboarding team members becomes a hell of a lot easier uh, with this overviews board. And it reduces the complication of what uh, interfaces can be. And it will shorten the learning curve as well uh, for it. So if this video was helpful and it got you into the action of starting overview boards, uh, then hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. The more engagement we get, the more people we can reach, the more people we can help. And thank you so much for being here on this video. If you haven't checked out the other videos of custom builds, all that stuff, go check them out. And also, if you want the business OS, book a uh, call down below to scale past seven, eight figures uh, by systemizing your business. That's about it for this one. See you in the next one.